Okay guys, so last day we got the first two tiers all matching and the bottom tier matching. Now it's time to match the top face. <laughs> now this is probably going to be in three parts, but it'll be like part 3 A, B, C because there's various ways that the top can become orientated, which this is I think the most difficult part, but again, it's pretty simple because it's just algorithms, right? So now, first of all, <clears throat> we're going to be looking for the top face. Okay, let's start over. The top face has four stages for the first orientation. Now, you're trying to get across, right? Like this. Now, what can happen is one of four things. You can be at this stage, which is a vertical line. You can be at, this is stage two. Stage three is an L uh, facing this way. So it's like an arrow pointing towards your right arm if you're holding the cube. Um, the first stage is just the centerpiece is yellow. And the fourth stage is the actual cross. Now, the algorithm to move this around to get to the stages is going to be front clockwise, right? So you go clockwise, top clockwise, right up, top counterclockwise, right down, front counterclockwise. And now, we're at stage three, which is the L or the arrow, depending on how you want to look at it. And these are still in their correct places, right? <clears throat> okay. So now you're going to do that algorithm again. So it's right clockwise, top clockwise, right up, top counterclockwise, right down, front clockwise. Okay. And now you've got a cross. Now, in this case, you have these two pieces are filled in. And you don't want that. Uh, you want only one of these pieces filled in or none of them filled in with yellow. So what you're going to do is there's, there's a bunch of things you can do. But the way I'll teach you now in this part um, is, is the one way to orientate the cube. But I'll have extra videos um, of different ways that you can approach this type of uh, orientation on the top face. So for this video, for this section actually, we're going to make it so that our right side has the three um, in a row and our left side has the one middle piece that's yellow so it matches the top but the, these two corner pieces don't match the top. So now what you're going to do is you're going to turn the side that has all the matching pieces you're gonna <clears throat> you're gonna turn it right up top clockwise right down top clockwise right up top 180 degrees right down and now you have your cross now this at this point um, you're gonna wanna look so you've got your cross right kinda like on the bottom but you're gonna use different algorithms now you're going to look at the side face now because your top's across and you're going to say okay this has two yellow pieces I don't want this side this side has a yellow piece in the right top corner and that's where you want the yellow piece because it's going to make the next few moves a lot shorter like you're not going to have to keep doing the algorithm and I'll show you I uh, yeah I'll show you what happens if you just go with them all blank but if you put the right in the top or if you put the yellow in the top right corner Let's see if we can get a yeah okay. So if you put the, if you put the yellow in the top right corner, and then you do that algorithm again, which was right up top clockwise, right down top clockwise, right up top 180 degrees. <clears throat> you've got this sort of fish, which is what I think of it as. It's like a a fish because it looks like a, those goldfish cracker guys, right? So in this case, this yellow piece is filled in. So you only have to do the algorithm one more time for the top face to be filled in, <clears throat> which is what it means if you have this piece right here. So you want to orientate your fish so that its head is in the bottom left-hand corner of the cube. So he's basically swimming like this way, right? Do, 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 right? Okay. 
So now you're going to do that again. So you're going to go right up, top clockwise, right down, top clockwise, right up, top 180 degrees. <clears throat> and now the top face is done. Okay. So in this part, I'm going to show you how to get these pieces in their appropriate place. And then the extra will be like the various orientations of the top face. And then the side is always the same to do. So you've got the top face all completed, two tiers all completed, bottom face all completed. Now you want to look at this top tier, which is the last tier to complete. So you're almost done. And you're going to look for the side, which has these two pieces the same. Now, I'm just going to go like this for this, the sake of this video. Now, if you look here, these two pieces are the same. They don't match the center face, which is a bad thing. So you want to turn them so that they do. So now these match the center face. You're not even caring about this. This middle top piece doesn't even matter right now. So you want these two pieces to match this guy right here. And you see in these ones it doesn't. <coughs> And that's okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to make the side with the two matching corners your back side. So you're going to turn the cube 180 degrees. Keep the bottom the same and the top the same. And then you're going <clears> to... <throat> just one sec. 